All right, let's talk about the new thing that T-Mobile just released, and that's their 5G Advanced Network. So this is a new technology for their wireless network that your devices can connect to. Now, I like to really talk a lot about the 5G home internet, so this is a gateway that T-Mobile has. And I'll also talk a little bit about how it's different than AT&T and Verizon with their 5G. And so what happened is just earlier this month, March 2024, uh, T-Mobile announced that they are rolling out a new technology nationwide in the U.S. for their 5G networks to improve them, to make them faster so you get better internet, better latency, and that kind of stuff. So let's talk about how you get it as well as you know, really what does it mean for you besides just a marketing term. And for all the viewers that are new to this channel, this is Nate and this is the Nader Tater channel. I cover lots of different topics. I'm very unique in that I go into nice technical details of these types of topics like 5G home internet, wireless uh, stuff, other technology. And so I do ask that you hit that like button if you enjoy this video. And then also consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And do know I'm probably one of the more rare YouTubers. I do actually read the comments and I do respond to them uh, when appropriate or maybe take suggestions for future videos. So consider putting a comment down below as well. All right, so back on the topic of this 5G Advance, here's a article. I'll put a link to it down in the video description below as well. But this is where T-Mobile's networking chief um, announced what T-Mobile is really defining as their 5G Advance. This was done at a um, trade show. It's called a uh, MWC in Barcelona. That just happened earlier this month in uh, March 2025. And so what he's saying is, um, you know, this is how they're defining it now. There is a standard out there called 3GPP, and they define different releases of wireless technology. I won't get into all the details there, but they actually um, define this as 5G advanced. But then the truth is each carrier maybe has a little bit different twist to what um, their marketing terms are. And I'll talk about that in a second about 5G UC, 5G Ultra Wideband, 5G Plus, 5G Extended, all this other stuff that they call it. So for T-Mobile, they require these four red dots is what they lump together as 5G Advanced. So what that is, is 5G Standalone Core. So that's something I've talked about before on 5G SA, which SA stands for Standalone, versus the more typical, which is 5G NSA, which is Non-Standalone. So non-standalone is still using the 4G LTE anchor. It has to connect to that first before it can add on the 5G aggregation to that signal. A 5G standalone signal can connect to only 5G. And you might have seen my video recently where I talked about home internet. Now they've started to open up 5G SA to people around the country. And the easiest way to tell is by you logged into your app you know, your T-Live app or whatever app you use to look at your um, your gateway connection. And if it doesn't have a 4G LTE signal listed anymore and it only has 5G, then you're on 5G SA. So that's the first line of 5G advanced. The second one is the amount of aggregation that they do. So, you know, it's annoying because on their gateway, they only show you one 4G signal and one 5G signal at most. The truth is, it's probably connecting to more than one of those signals. In fact, when I have a third-party gateway, I can see all those signals. And I've had like a Chester Cheetah, and I'll have five or more um, signals all aggregated together. And that's what this um, 5G Advanced on T-Mobile side for the rollout is they're saying it's going to connect to four of them for download. So aggregate four different signals and two of them for upload. And they're going to roll out to five here soon. And that's both a limitation of the network, but then also your device itself, the modem that's in it, has to be able to support that as well. So some of these older gateways maybe have like an X62, which is a Snapdragon uh, X62 uh, modem, and it maybe can't aggregate that much, but newer modems uh, can. The next one is REDCap, which is, stands for Reduced Capacity. And so 5G Reduced Capacity is really for IoT devices, smartwatches, that kind of stuff where... You want a um, more efficient, so less battery using um, device because 5G is known to suck down battery life. And if you, you know, knew when, when it first came out, especially on iPhone and stuff, it would, it would really suck down the battery to be on 5G. So this is a technology to enable them to have low power devices still use 5G. That will be important, uh, especially when something like 4G gets turned off eventually. And then the last one is L4S, and that stands for... Uh, actually having four L's, which is low loss, low latency, and then the S is uh, scalable throughput. And so that is something that's 
enables a quicker uh, ping, less jitter, less latency. So this is really good for uh, gaming, for uh, video conferencing, all those things that, you know, if you've had uh, 5G home internet especially, you probably have noticed you might have really fast speed. You might have hundreds of megabits per second of speed, but your games are laggy. And that's really because of latency, not because of your speed. So this is something that is trying to fix that. And that's where, honestly, that is a um, kind of a shortcoming of uh, 5G cellular uh, home-based internet is that uh, it's not typically the best for latency. But I have seen when I get on 5G SA and I'm running on their 5G Advance, I can get unloaded pings around 10 milliseconds. So way faster than my older 5G NSA connections where I'm maybe 30, 40 uh, milliseconds very easily uh, on that uh, same you know same location here connected to the same tower okay and that gets on another topic here this is mostly software on t-mobile side and their network so if you think about their network there's kind of two thoughts there one is their internal network which is like the carriers network from like the cell tower back to all of their servers and everything and then the other part is from the tower itself to your device so those are kind of two separate uh, technologies and capability and a lot of this stuff is really done on their core side on their software side and on their infrastructure side um, and not you know your device doesn't have to change necessarily to support this stuff now I also want to talk a little bit about how this is different than AT&T and Verizon all right so now if I go to Gemini and I go in here and I type in a couple different terms that a lot of the wireless carriers use this gives a nice little synopsis of how they're different so there's a lots of I would call it marketing fluff that goes on and it's because all the carriers want to claim they have the latest and greatest and unique name the truth is T-Mobile is ahead of all the other carriers in America for 5G true 5G capability but all of the carriers claim they have 5G but there are big differences here so the first thing to know is that 5G cellular is not related to 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Some people get those confused. They're completely separate. Um, so this 5G here stands for fifth generation of cellular network technology. But what you'll see here is there's lots of different flavors of it. So if we talk about 5G UC, that's something that T-Mobile has used in uh, comparison to their 5G extended. 5G UC is their mid-band and high-band, and that is a um, better connection than the 5g extended uh, their 5g extended is what t-mobile uses for their low band so that is n71 and that's like a 600 megahertz so it's better for traveling long distances and getting good coverage miles away but it's slower in speed than their 5g uc and historically they've been using those as 5g nsa signals so they also connect to a 4g connection but now, as I just said, with 5G Advanced, they're rolling out standalone for those uh, connections. So next, the 5G UW or UWB is ultra wideband, and that's Verizon's terminology. When they first came out with the 5G ultra wideband terminology, that was really held back just for their millimeter wave uh, connection, which is a fantastic connection, super quick. I mean, you can get gigabits per second of uh, throughput on it. And they use it in like um, uh, football stadiums and other places like that. But the truth is it doesn't travel very far at all. Um, in fact, like it, it has a hard time getting through even a building exterior. So it's not good for sending out a uh, signal to a neighborhood because it doesn't travel far enough uh, to do that. So um, they changed the marketing term to include their mid-band, which is like the C-band network on, uh, on Verizon to include 5G uw or ultra wideband and uh, so now you can't really tell on verizon which if you're on c band or millimeter wave but then if we look at at&t they really have two terms as well and there is uh, 5g plus which is their faster service that's kind of more comparable to the 5g of um, t-mobile and verizon because it's using the mid band and high band frequencies and they're getting some of that c band uh, bandwidth as well uh, but then they've recently renamed um, their 4g lte to 5g e or 5g evolution and this is where it's not even you can't even claim it's true 5g uh, because they're just renaming their 4g lte and this is really 
um, to me, a marketing fluff and what they're selling people on their cheaper plans and cheaper phones of like, hey, this is a 5G phone and asterisk it's a 5G e phone, which lo and behold means it's a 4G LTE phone. Uh, so be careful with AT&T and their 5G e term because it is not 5G at all. All right, so hopefully that helps, uh, clears things up a little bit. So T-Mobile has it out there. You do not have to do anything in order to get it on your device. It's going to be rolled out automatically to you. And if your device supports it, it will uh, take it on. If you have a newer device with a, one of the better modems or third-party uh, gateway on uh, the 5G home internet line, then it will also uh, gain more capability here as they flip the switch and, and roll that out nationwide. So hope you enjoy this video. Uh, please check out these other videos that I put uh, over the screen here, and uh, then we'll see you next time.